Okay, so I have two cats and I am moving them with me to Thailand and they are absolutely going to hate it. <coughs> so I have two cats, Mama Bear and Bubba Bear. Those were supposed to be placeholder names, but uh, a decade later, I am still going with it. Uh, Mama Bear is 13 years old, super smart, loves strangers, loves exploring the backyard. And then I have Bubba Bear, who's 12 years old, who is a little more skittish and more anxious. And in fact, every time I go on long trips, he has separation anxiety. So he's gonna have a little hard time on this trip for sure. My cats have traveled before. Uh, I adopted them in Portland, Oregon, and then they moved with me through multiple cross-country road trips. They've been to over 25 states. They've also flown once before. They flew with me from New York to Denver. They were able to fit into one carrier because they were smaller back then. But this next time, they'll have to go in two separate carriers. That flight was a four-hour non-stop flight, and still it wasn't fun for me or for them. At the airport, TSA has to check the cat carrier. Uh, so I read in advance that I could request a private room. So I did do that at the New York airport. Um, so I was taken to a room in the back with two TSA agents and I had to take both my cats out of the carrier and then they took the carrier to the machine to get scanned. And then once I got the carrier back, I had to put my cats back in there. TSA is not allowed to help, so it was a little awkward for me um, to be herding two cats and putting them into a carrier while two TSA guards just kind of stand there. So that was a little bit awkward. And it was very stressful because uh, my cats are runners. Once we were on the plane, I put the carrier under the seat in front of me. I put a blanket over them uh, because I read online that that helps. I have no idea if it helped because they were meowing most of the time anyway. And then once we got to Denver and we got settled into my apartment there, they were still very stressed out. And I told myself that I wouldn't make them fly ever again, but here I am because I can't drive to Thailand. Uh, so we're gonna have to fly. So the general plan is me and my best friend will fly my cats to Thailand, but we have to go through a few stops uh, to get there. So we will fly from Los Angeles to Vancouver. That's about a three hour flight. Once we're in Vancouver, we'll have a four hour layover. Uh, and then from Vancouver to Bangkok, that's about a 17 hour flight. That's a long flight. And then once we get to Bangkok, we're gonna have to take another car to Hua Hin where my mom lives, uh, which is about three and a half hours away. So it's gonna be a very, very long trip. And this is a lot longer than any four hour flight my cats have ever done before. So this is gonna be very stressful. The paper process, as far as I know, which could be completely wrong because uh, I've never done this before, I have to submit pet paperwork to the Thai Department of Livestock at the Bangkok airport via email and receive an import permit. Then I have to have a USDA accredited vet do a checkup on my cats and sign like a pet certificate okaying them for travel and import. I have to submit that import permit I got from the Thai Department of Livestock and the vet signed paperwork to the USDA within 10 days of my flight and get approval from the USDA to export. Uh, and then once I arrive at the Bangkok airport, I have to go to the Thai animal office there uh, with all my pet paperwork, um, have them checked out and then pay an import fee. Then there's all the other stuff I have to do, which includes booking a flight uh, and making sure that they have space for my pet, um, buying carriers that fit the various dimensions of the plane, uh, get my cats used to the carrier, test sedatives that I'm gonna use ahead of time to see how my cats react. Okay, so where am I at in this process? I've uh, submitted the paperwork to the Thai Department of Livestock and requested two import permits for my cats. I've also booked two flights for me and my best friend, um, and I've paid the pet fees. I've also confirmed with the airline rep that they have uh, space for my cats on the flight um, because you have to reserve this in advance because they only allow a small number of pets on any given plane. I've also found a soft-sided carrier for my cats and the flight that I think will work. Uh, it got a little bit tricky because the dimensions for my LA to Vancouver flight was one thing and then my Vancouver to Bangkok flight 
were completely other dimensions. So I needed a soft side carrier that can squish to be a little taller and squish to be a little shorter as it needed for these two different flights. I've also started getting my cats used to the carriers. I've had them out for a while now. I even sprayed some feel away into the carriers. I don't know if that works, but it didn't hurt to try. Then I've also tested the sedatives on them to see if there were gonna be any side effects. I've been mostly focusing on Bubba Bear as he's gonna have the most trouble with this trip. In the first round of testing, uh, he was not phased at all by the sedative. Uh, I think it's because he's a naturally anxious cat. So in the second round, I gave him a little bit more and that seemed to have worked. I was able to zip up the carrier with him inside it, uh, carry him for a short bit around the living room and then put the carrier down. Uh, I was even able to vacuum around him and he is terrified of the vacuum. So the fact that he stayed in his carrier and he was mostly sleeping um, as I was vacuuming around him was a big sign that the sedatives working and is what we want because the airplane is gonna be very loud. Okay, so that's Boba Bear. Uh, with Mama Bear, I haven't done uh, the testing of zipping her up in the carrier and moving her around or vacuuming around her just yet. I will do that next, but I really wanted to focus on Bubba because he was gonna have the most difficulty with this trip. As you can see, there's still a lot I have to do to prepare my cats for this big move, um, but I'm making progress. So I'll do a follow-up video once I get to Thailand with my cats and we have a chance to settle in with what actually the process was because what I think the process will be could be completely different with how I experience it in real life. And I know it's gonna be a thousand percent more stressful for me and for them uh, as we're actually going through it. So I will uh, post after that. If you have any tips or thoughts on how I can prepare my cats for this big move to Thailand, please let me know in the comments. All right, so if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.